Hey guys, Ken here and I'm back again with another product review. And before we get started, I just want to be clear about one thing. This is not a sponsored video because I actually purchased this product myself. Now, on to it. Until now, I have been randomly searching the internet off and on over the last couple of years for something that would show my subscriber count live on a display or a device solely for that purpose. And now I can tell you, I've actually found it. And well, actually I did find it before, but it was so dang expensive that it wasn't even worth the effort and time for me to go and buy it. But today, I'm happy to report that what I have to show you is not so expensive. And in fact, is in my possession right here. So what is it? Well, this is the Ulanzi Smart Pixel Clock. It's a pixelated message display that will show you the number of followers on sites like YouTube, Billy Billy, and Weibo. It has a weather forecast function and a tomato clock, they call it. Uh, basically, show you can run it for 25 minutes. It'll let you know that 25 minutes is up, and then you get to take like a five minute break and then get back to work kind of thing. It also has other geeky type features in there that many people might enjoy who love programming and whatnot. It has 256 multicolored LEDs, and it has a 4,400 milliamp power battery that can last up to five hours on a full charge. It weighs 283 grams. It's white in color in the case. It has a USB-C type uh, port connection in the back. And also let me show you more specs over here if you want to get into that detail related to this device. But lastly, it also has a one year warranty. So how much is it? Well, at the time of recording this video, uh, it was $49.90 and it was only at uh, the Ulanzi website at the time. I'm not sure if it's on Amazon yet, but right now it's only on Ulanzi's website for just a smidge under $50. So who's it for? So in my opinion, it's for those that have a YouTube channel, kind of like me, uh, that want to see at a glance their subscriber count. Like in my case, I got 425. And that's basically for those in the US. For those that live elsewhere that can get access to Billy Billy and Weibo, as well as Douyin, I think is the name. Douyin, which is a, basically the Chinese TikTok. This also is going to be for you because it can do those other sites as well. Usually I like to list five or more types of people that this is for. But to be honest, it's really only for those who want to monitor their subscriber slash follower counts live. So what's good about it? Live subscriber count. I mean, need I say more? That's the reason why you get it. Uh, it's build is pretty good. It's solid. It's got some heft to it. Uh, it's got some bright lights and they're multicolored. In fact, this used to be white. I don't know if you can tell, but it's blue. I changed it to blue. It has a rechargeable battery, so you can do this, right, that I'm doing with it. It's running, it's live, and it's not connected to any cables. And it's pretty good size. You can see it from across the room like this. So let's talk about what's not so good about it. Well, first and foremost, you can show weather and temperatures and stuff on that device. You can cycle through that if you want to. Um, the bad thing about it is, is if you do show weather and temperature related type stuff, you're gonna see Celsius, not Fahrenheit. And currently at this time of this video, you can't change it. You can't set the weather for, as an example for me, Atlanta. I live in the greater Atlanta area. I go and do what it says in the instructions to set the weather for Atlanta and I get nothing, nothing at all. For me, again, and I, probably for most people, in America, it only shows subscribers for YouTube. You can't see Instagram, you can't see Facebook, Twitter, or other sites that you would see over here. Right now, the only one I can get access to is YouTube. There is a concern related to the firmware. You can go in and update the firmware, but you have to go in to the interface page and go upload the firmware, meaning you have to go find the firmware, download it to your device, phone, computer, whatever, and then go find it with the app to upload it, which leaves you a lot of possibilities of maybe getting the wrong thing and if you get the wrong thing or, or it's 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 bad it's it's got viruses bugs some kind of issue with it and it's not correct you'll end up turning that thing into a big paperweight i wish it had its own feature built into where if you just hit check for update and it updates kind of like your cell phones nowadays right to show the youtube subscriber live count like i'm showing here you actually have to go and do something that maybe you're not used to because i sure wasn't used to this you have to go get an api key which could seem a little bit daunting for your average new youtube YouTuber type person. I mentioned before the, the API, it, it's a bit clunky and sometimes you're not sure if it updated your changes properly. You'll hit the save button, you're not sure if it went through or not. In my case, when I bought this and I got it right out of the box and got it here and set it up, put it in, got it ready, and I started to 
interact with the interface to program it, it was completely in Chinese. I had to guess how to go in and get it to show English. So there were a few more not so goods about it, but I think that if hopefully Ulanzi sees this, maybe we can get an upgrade on the firmware or get a little bit of a change or maybe an update to some of the devices in the future to be ordered into the US side of the house. Maybe we could see some improvements there. Maybe this list will get smaller. So my thoughts on this, um, if you go Right now to, let's say Amazon, and you type in the search bar subscriber clock, you're gonna find hundreds of actual clocks. And then maybe you'll find one device. And that device that does something similar to what that one does there will set you back about 200 bucks. And when I said before that I honestly found one, that's the one I'm talking about. That's too much for me. 200 bucks just to show my subscribers, I, I, it's just too much that I wanna pay, okay? It's not, I don't think it's worth that for me. Now, does it have a whole bunch of other features with that device? Yes. Is it probably easier to use? I don't know, maybe. Maybe it's worth the $200 to other people, but for me at this moment, it's not. So if you go to Google and do the exact same search, subscriber clock, you will see that there's a lot of similar stuff. A bunch of clocks, there'll be even a couple sketchy sites that have something like that, but you'll also find two other items. The $200 one I was talking about, but now you'll find that guy for $50. And while that's a great price, I wanna let you know that this device is so niche that only a few people will wanna buy this clock. And that's exactly what I did. This is what I exactly was looking for. A subscriber counter for my YouTube channel that I could display and see at a glance without having to go and look it up on my phone or my computer and also at an affordable price. As well, I wanted this to sit in the background on a shelf to show my subscribers as I record many of my YouTube videos here like I'm doing right now. And hopefully watching that number go higher and higher and higher please. So yeah, I think it's worth the 50 bucks for now as it is because it does have a cool couple cool features in it. But I think that it could even be better if Yulanzi sees this video or other people's videos and they go and they update certain things about it. Maybe like the weather in the US can be shown, uh, allow the temperatures to be selected. I mean, you can switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius maybe in the programming, allow other sites to be added to this clock, like TikTok here if you want to, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and it probably would make this device even more appealing to the US customers. So yeah, I've already said it. I really like this as it stands right now. And if we can see those updates later, it will come to correct these issues. I think you could really see this thing selling a lot more uh, to customers in the United States. So now I'm gonna throw in a caveat. There is a programming portion called the Autrix, 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 A-W-T-R-I-X, put it up here somewhere, uh, simulator that's on this device. And while I'm not well enough versed on this, it is something that you can use at this time and you could probably do some programming and put in stuff like what I mentioned before. But again, I don't know enough to do that and it's still gonna require that you do more things to get that in there. So in closing, I wanted to say I thank you for your time and I really appreciate that you're here with me in this journey. And I hope you found some good information in this video. And if you please, could you hit that like button? And as well, if you're not already subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscriber button. All that will tell the powers that be that somewhere someone actually likes these videos and maybe they'll keep showing more of them and maybe I'll get that subscriber counter to start clicking up a little bit more. Again, really do appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Peace.